Because I think that's the biggest problem with the world right now is that people have just gotten so selfish. They don't care about anybody anymore. And I know that I've never felt the world this miserable before. And I, I don't think the biggest problem is the economy or, or politics or, or even the pandemic. I think the biggest problem right now is that we've forgotten that we belong to each other. And that's the truth. We have to be a little bit nicer, a little bit kinder. And if you don't like how you feel, try do something nice for somebody else. If you want to feel good, you got to do good. All right, this side of the room. You don't even need to do something for somebody. If you just see something good happen for somebody else, it makes you feel good. It does. Like, okay, I feel like you guys are judging me. I'll give you a real life example, okay? <laughs> this happened about five years ago when I was at LAX, okay? Now, first off, I want to say that I feel very blessed that I get to do this for a living. I can't believe that I get to be a comedian. It's the best. It's, it really is. It's so fun. It took forever to get good at it. <laughs> Like, when I moved to Los Angeles, my whole family was so supportive for, like, the first two years. <laughs> they're like, you could do it. And then, like, five years after that, they're like, you're still trying? <laughs> All right. Like... <laughs> so the simple fact that I get to do this and, like, it's amazing. But the truth is, like, after a while, I just don't like the travel, okay? Like... Going to the airport for me is kind of like, I don't know if you've ever taken your dog to the vet and at first they're all happy just to be in the car. They're like, this is awesome. <laughs> then they start to recognize stuff and they're like, wait a second, I know where we're going. Let me out, let me out, let me out right now. I thought you loved me, I thought you. <laughs> That's how I feel about the airport, okay? <laughs> so about five years ago, I had the first flight out of LAX. And I don't know if you've ever had the first flight out, but it's a weird feeling. Because I had to set my alarm for like 3.30 in the morning. That's weird. <laughs> it's because like you set your alarm and then it just goes off. <laughs> You're like, did I even sleep last night? I think it still is last night. <laughs> so normally when I have to wake up that early, I buy donuts and I put them all the way in the kitchen. And I'll be like, I don't want to, ooh, I have donuts and I'll get out of bed. <laughs> Like, I have to train myself like a schnauzer. Like, who's a good boy? Stevie's a good boy. He deserves a treat. He woke up like a grown-up. He gets sprinkles. <laughs> so, I didn't have donuts that morning. And I was just laying in bed like, I'm not gonna go. I don't care. I don't want to. And then I started thinking about how blocky I am to get to do this. As, as I was driving to the airport, I went, ooh, I could get McDonald's breakfast. And that put joy into my little body. I was like, yes, I'm going to get extra hash brown. It's going to be awesome. I was so happy walking through TSA that I was like, you have a good morning. And they were like, keep your eyes on the chippy guy in the sweater. He is too happy. And I was so happy I get to McDonald's. And I was like, hello, may I please have a number two with the extra hash brown? And the lady was like, I'm sorry, honey. We're not open yet. And I was like... I could smell McDonald's, <laughs> but I don't get to eat it. <laughs> yeah. And she felt so bad. She was like, can I just, have, how about a free cup of coffee? Just take it, it's free, we have coffee. And I was like, no thank you, because I don't even want to be awake right now. <laughs> I just want to fall asleep on the plane and be like, oh, I guess I woke up in Chicago. <laughs> So I go to my gate and it was so early. It was like five o'clock in the morning. It was so early, nobody was even on their phone yet. That's early, right? Like everybody was just sitting there like trying to stay awake. They look like little kids staying awake for Santa like, like this, right? And out of the corner of my eye, I just felt like a presence. And this guy was just moving with the confidence of a winner. Like, you ever just see somebody and you could tell their, like, their lives are way better than yours? Like, he was walking with this confident strut. You know, like, this guy didn't need donuts to get out of bed in the morning. He probably had, like, a kettlebell and green juice. He was like, I'm up earlier than Jocko. Yes, like, you could just do people. Thank you for getting that reference. All right. Like, every, like, I could tell just by this guy's bone structure, he knew the difference between a bond and an annuity. You know those people? <laughs> like, he was wearing a suit at 5 a.m. Like, a, he was dressed like a real grown-up. Like, if you told a six-year-old to draw a grown-up, that's what this guy looked like. He looked like 
Steve Martin from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. He was wearing a suit, he had an overcoat, and he had his wheelie bag, and he just had that confidence. Like, you ever just see somebody like, that guy's never thought about suicide. Do you know those people that are like, <laughs> like a winner? This guy was like a winner. So I see him moving like this, and as he's getting closer to me, his eyes start to squint, and he starts looking from this direction. And so I look in that direction, and then I saw somebody that I just related to. This guy was chubby. He was wearing sweatpants that I could tell he slept in. I could tell he did, because game recognized game. I could tell he was like, one less decision tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and here's the best part. He was eating Cheetos at 5 a.m. Yes. And they weren't even a little bag of Cheetos they sell at the airport. It was like the big Costco bag of Cheetos. Which means, which means he put them through the security belt like they're gonna be delicious on the other side. They're gonna be delicious, on, okay. The guy was awesome. So I see him eating the Cheetos and he's just like this. And then the guy that's the winner starts looking at him and he goes, Scooter? And the guy went, Larry? And they had been, they were best friends. They didn't see each other for 30 years. And they caught up right there in the airport. It was like an episode of This Is Us. It was amazing. It just made us feel good. All right, thank you. All right, you monsters, I have a better example. Okay.